Good afternoon, I am Bea Kupin and welcome to Rappler Talk. Photography has become so much more accessible to everyone. So even if you're a budding photographer, you want IG goals, or you just want good pictures to capture good memories. But how do you make the most of what's already there and what's coming? Uh, today, we're talking to David Sung. He's the co-founder and CEO of Sweet Escape. It's an it's an app-based photography service that is right. that's making waves in the region, in the country, and globally, I guess. So, hi. Thank you for coming to for the Philippines, yes, coming to Rappler you. also. So, maybe for our viewers who aren't really familiar with what Sweet Escape is all about, what is it? Sweet Escape is an app-based photography service that enables uh, our users to book a photographer anywhere around the world Mm -hmm. within two minutes. Right. So you could easily book a photographer in, in Positano, mm -hmm. in uh, St. Petersburg, or anywhere, in fact. Uh, and we'll connect you with the team that we have uh, already curated in the market. And right. then uh, it's very easy. Right. You just book it there, and then you will have to. Ch we will be chatting with the photographer. Yeah. And in our app, you will be downloading all the photos within yeah. three days after the photo shoot. Yeah. Yeah, so so people are familiar because I, I was already like mm. we, I, I discussed this earlier with your team also. So before, so you you book days in bed, ideally, right? Days in advance before your actual yeah, trip. About two days in advance. Two days yeah. in advance, yeah. Um, and also, isn't it that these photographers are people that you've screened? Yes, that's right. Yeah. all the photographers are local. Right. right. So uh, for our team in Japan, they yeah. all live in Japan, so yeah. they know the city inside out. Yeah. 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 So we have to curate not only on their work. But yeah. also their personality, oh, how friendly yeah. they are, how fun they are, because yeah. they will be your friend and your local yeah, guide. Yeah, because they'll yeah. tour you around the that's place, right, I guess, right. and teach yeah. you where to go or what not to do or the With best angles, best I guess. Best time yeah. to visit. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. To avoid all the crazy crowd. Let's say you're in Eiffel Tower, mm -hmm. how, to, how to capture it the best way, at the best right. light from different angle. Right, right. What's the story behind it? Like, it, I'm very curious. Like, how did the idea even come about? Well, I was uh, on a family trip okay. to... Oh, it's personal. Yes, it is yeah, personal. Yeah, yeah. It is actually uh, solving my own problem. Okay. I've been a photographer for the last 20 years oh, and, wow. and yeah. I, I shoot a lot of weddings and, and <laughs> events and all that stuff. And as we travel, I noticed that we don't have the photo of the three of us together. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I always try to ask a stranger or someone to help us take a photo. And that's awkward. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a bit awkward. Right. And the photos are not even that good. Right, right. Because right. so yeah. of course you can't you, you can't dictate a person how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. With with that problem, I thought it could be better. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm imagining a world where wherever I go, I have a friend right. who is local and. Right great at photography and show me around. Right, Would right. Wouldn't that be awesome, right? Right, right. Then I was looking at, I was, I was staying in Paris, and I was looking at, hey, it's not only my problem, but it's so many other people's problem. When they travel, they want yeah. to bring a piece of the memory back with them. Yeah, of course. Beautifully, of right. course. Right, without having the stress of like, thinking, who can you tap to take yes. a picture of yes, me to yes, document. Yes. But c tell us about how you started. Like how, how, okay, so you've developed the app, of course, but like, I think the most important part of Sweet Escape is the network That's right. that you have. So how did you start building that? So there are uh, quite a few challenges. First of all <laughs> is finding uh, excellent local photographers okay. who would want to join Sweet Escape. Okay. Uh, that initially we only launched it in five cities. Okay. Uh, Which were? That was uh, LA, New York, okay. Bali, okay. Uh, Sydney, and was Paris. Okay. That was it. Then uh, slowly we grow the number of cities to uh, 400, right? To 400, more wow. than 400 cities okay. now, anywhere. Uh, right. So the first challenge is obviously getting the talents, mm -hmm. the photographers. Uh, we have to screen them because uh, there are a lot of photographers in any city. Of course, right? Uh, yeah, like I mentioned, it's so easy to buy a camera nowadays. That is right. That yeah. is right. And then uh, so that's one. Then, then the other one is how do you communicate and educate the market? for this need. Mm, I see. So that's okay. also another challenge. Yeah. Now, uh, we know we could rent a car or we know we could book a hotel, but nobody really knows you could hire a photographer yeah. on the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. and, and I thought, you know what, uh, that has to be made easy and affordable mm -hmm. in, in so many places. Right, that, right. That's, that's where the idea came about. Because yeah. yeah. I mean, people might hear about it and think, oh, that's very 
bougie that's a very that's so high class i don't know so maybe so people also have an idea like what is the what are the kind of rates that you're talking about when okay. you say that it's affordable it really depends on which city you're going to oh, our it price oh, yeah. it's different it's our different prices yeah. starts at 200 us dollars okay in the different cities okay there's 200 250 300 400 and so on okay, okay. depending on where you're going yeah and our prices are for a two-hour photography okay. uh, session okay and it depends on how where you're going. Where I you're guess. going, yes. yes oh, so yes. you can like do a tour around the city if you, you could, want to. You could. Uh, normally, yeah. uh, in our app, the client and the photographer we would start chatting and mm -hmm. tell them if they've been to Kyoto or what they are looking for, how many people are traveling uh, with them, are mm -hmm. their grandparents involved, or yeah. do they have young oh. kids, right? So the so photographer, those yeah, photographer yeah, 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 need to know yeah, yeah, yeah. which route is best okay. uh, to take them. And okay. Know, and then before you book, can you indicate that like you'll have children of course, with you? Of course. So it has to be someone there, there who's is, patient. There is a yeah. note, yeah, and oh, then we have okay. to match you, uh, match the client with the photographer's specialty. Right. Some photographers oh. are really good at shooting couples. Yeah. They may not be as patient with children. shooting with kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I think more than a photography service, it's really about making this network, making connections. Yes linking people That's together. Right. Matching this, yes. Right. Um, I heard that you like, when you visit the cities, that mm. you have the service, where the service is available. You like meeting the photographers I always try to do that. Wh yeah. Why do you do that? What, why is that important, I think? I, I've been a photographer is. myself, okay. so I know what it's like uh, being a photographer. But uh, most of all, it's hearing their stories. Okay. Uh, the, the people that they've captured. Uh, what was mm. what was the experience about? Right. Right? Like a, a, a photographer I met in Sydney was telling me that he, he just recently shot a three-generation holiday trip. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, that's so cute. Right. Yeah. Get everyone together and he was telling me about the grandparents, telling me about the, you know, the, the kids and, right. and more and more stories that I hear, I collect and that gives us a lot of uh, encouragement to grow the business. That's right. one. But uh, more than that, it's, it's giving the photographer a sense of community. Mm -hmm. Uh, a support system, they could learn each from each other, okay. uh, and I could share what best practices are right. from different parts of the world. Right, yeah. that's interesting. But like, what what kind of photographers are usually are, are part of Cityscape? Portraits. Like? Uh, we. Oh. Uh, Especially okay. uh, looking for people who are good with people photography, because <laughs> with photography you could shoot food or right, interiors right, course, or, yeah. Yeah, or, or or different. It's it's all different uh, skill sets. Right, right. With people photography, uh, the number one skill would be communication. Right, right. You can't be an introvert, yeah, I guess, or at least you should know how to. Yes, you should be able to make uh, that person when you just met yeah. and within the first five minutes Feel to be comfortable yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. difficult though so it is it is a challenge yeah. but this is the day and age where uh, strangers can build trust right. and this is how uh, students keep grow right it's it's creating that trust right. Uh, right. wherever you go you know that the photographer you hire have been curated right uh, would you're safe, you're in good hands, they're right, creative, exactly. they're friendly. Yeah. Right, right. But that's interesting because like, I was talking to your team mm. earlier and it, the photographer isn't just your photographer, but in a way, he's your local tour guide. He it or is. she can be your local tour guide. Yes, you know what, for, yeah. what the funny uh, practices uh, they do? They always prepare uh, places to eat, to visit, oh, you know, uh, okay. things to hang that's out. That's above and beyond the service that you're actually offering, uh -huh. isn't it? It's yeah. just, tr it's, uh, the guideline is how would you treat your friend? Oh, like if your friend is coming line. over? If yeah. your friend is coming over to Manila, yeah. where would you take them? Right. right. How would you host them? So that's, that's the kind of spirit that we have uh, within the photographers. Okay. Instead of treating them like client, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. Yeah. yeah. They actually just launched. They actually just launched in the Philippines earlier this month. Yes, we Digital launch, yeah. Digital launch, yeah. that's right. Uh, right. Philippines has grown uh, a lot. It's, it it's your now. second biggest, yes, right? Yes, yes. Strangely, before you yes. even launched here <laughs> formally. Why, how, why is that? What's with the Philippine market? Why do you think? It, it, it surprises us as well, uh -huh. but this has grown organically okay. with Sudescape, the product being the photography. Uh, yeah. Our clients tend to post their photos right. on social media oh. and promoting our services to without their friends even without trying. us even knowing. <laughs> okay. and, and oh, not even knowing. Not before yeah, us yeah. knowing, uh, the number of bookings from Philippines has shot up 
uh, so fast and mm -hmm. we thought, no, 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 let's do it properly, having right. a proper uh, campaign and uh, offers, promotion. Now we're going with Citibank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, and, and, okay, and many more, and I'm preparing a local team to get to know the market better, to right. develop the market. Right. How would you characterize, because obviously this is about traveling, mm -hmm. so how would you characterize the Filipino traveler based on on how you're doing in the Philippines so far? This this uh, three big uh, uh, markets in travel. Okay. Uh, first of all is the friends traveling. Okay. The singles, the friends, the four or five girlfriends okay. going to Japan. Okay. So the friends. And then the next one are the couples. Okay. Uh, they book us for prenups or honeymoons. Oh. Mm. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Prenups or honeymoons. And then the third one is family. Mm. And uh, family, uh, we see. Uh, small family and also big families okay yeah. uh, who usually books sweet escape in the Fili from Fili from the philippines at least it's mostly the ladies oh for really? some reason okay. for the family oh that, that's more what for i family I noticed trips. Yeah. yeah more of a family trip oh i guess it's because people don't want the hassle of having to well, back, think back in the day uh we used to have everybody used to have the the standard uh, formal photo, family oh, photo, right? Yeah, like in the yeah, whole the studio, you're all dressed yeah, up. Yeah, but yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is a bit more refreshing. I think it's more casual. Everybody mm -hmm. do have a good time, right? especially when they're traveling. Right. Yeah. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you know, photography is becoming cheaper for a it lot is. of people. Um, so you have young people out there, you know, buying kits, buying cameras. You're a photographer yourself am, for yes. 20 years, right? That's right. How do you think younger people, like, should they want to become professional photographers? Hmm. Like, based on your experience as a photographer and your experience in, in Sweet Escape, like, what are the things they should learn? Uh, what are the things they should focus on early on, I guess, uh, as, er as young as being uh, college kids? Yes, I think that photography is a, a form of art that is easily accessible and has with digi digital, it has instant gratification yeah. and uh, the learning curve is so fast. Right. When I started photography, it's all <laughs> back in film days. You yeah, know, yeah, you, yeah. You really need to pay attention to it, take notes and all that yeah. stuff. Uh, for, for young photographers, I s really strongly suggest trying out different fields of photography. Mm, uh, so people okay. or products or right, fashion right, right, or right. commercial even. Yeah. Right? or interiors and yeah. try that yeah. and get a sense of which one you like better okay. then and go deeper go right. deeper if you like people then you have to go uh, do you like kids right yeah? um, I, I, also you want you have to specialize i think uh, uh, at the end of the day if you're yeah. a chef yeah i would love to be known as something not i can cook right. everything you know? yeah 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 uh, we, not just that he can take pictures but yeah, it should be like he's he can excellent take at good. this oh, right interesting yeah. huh. Okay, what are the things you wish you, you knew when you were starting out in photography? Don't buy too many gears. Oh, yeah. oh, that's counterintuitive. Like a lot of people nah. nowadays, I think, just keep buying the no, best. No, no, no. I think, I think gear is, uh, uh, will limit your creativity. Okay. With limited gear, you are forced to be creative. Oh, that's right. Because you might rely on yes, yes, the high yes. techness yeah. of everything. And you will spend way too much money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Let's have fun with what you have, even mm -hmm. if it's one camera and one lens. Okay. Use that all out. Yeah. Then, uh, if you're bored, uh, slowly, uh, slowly pick up more yeah. gear or lenses or yeah. accessories. So I'm guessing your photographers aren't necessarily the most like. They don't have the latest equipment at but all. You don't have to have the latest equipment. Oh. Uh, what's interesting about our Sweet Escape photographer is, mm -hmm. you know that about 70% of mm -hmm. them are freelance economy, meaning they do have their full-time jobs. Oh. Uh, the photographer that shot for me in Vancouver, his full-time job is a fireman. Oh, wow. Yeah. So the one in a Singapore, side hustle, yeah, in yeah. a way, I guess. Because I, I realize that a lot of people have passion in creating uh, oh. Oh, that's Pictures, interesting right? though. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them could be housewife or they're in the police department. They yeah, are yeah, in, yeah, yeah. You know, they're so in a way it's like accounting Sweet and Escape is their way to actually practice their passion. No, they are actually very good at it already. Okay. But they don't dare to take a step to make it into a full-time career. Oh, it's interesting. Yeah. Nah, it's not limited to just their families and friends, I guess. Like yes. they can actually yes, yes. You know, expand actually meet their new craft. people, meet right. new people and and then create beautiful images right right yeah. you of course you you've made the switch i mean you were a photographer 
for, for many years and now you're an entrepreneur. How do you make that shift? I, I, I guess, I, I mean, I think a lot of young photographers yeah. now also want that, I guess, in their lives, you know, beyond taking pictures, you know, really scaling up. How do you do that? Or, or like, what was the experience like for you? For, uh, I think uh, in this day and age, a lot of the skills you'd like to pick up, it's not that very difficult. You don't really have to go to a four-year yeah. university. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah, do you think that's necessary, by the way? For uh, actually, no. Right. I don't think so. Right. I think it. What is I your degree? Business. Oh, oh, I, that I, makes sense. I graduated <laughs> from business school. Okay. In Seattle, okay. uh, marketing major. Okay. I'm not a photography major. I, my oh. parents would not allow me to go to photography major. But, but look at is, you now. That is my passion. Right. I love creating, and I see the joy in people's eyes right. when, when when I can deliver those kind of moments and for them, right? Right, right. And I think in this day and age, uh, you could learn to be an entrepreneur. Right. Right. Was it difficult for you though? Like make it. When did you make that jump? I guess. From I think I've been an entrepreneur all my life. Okay. After college, I've been right. studying a lot of uh, uh, small businesses, okay. uh, in food and in, in photography yeah. and in and a few other businesses. I think it's it's something that you could pick up. Right. Uh, and then I strongly believe in teamwork. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't have the hundred percent of all the skills needed to launch a business, mm -hmm. team up. Uh, get people who are better than you in right. different fields right. to to make this idea uh, happen. Right, right. I think it's 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 not a one man show. Right, right. Yeah. Back to Sweet Escape. Um, your team before was showing me the more interesting stories in the Philippines. I think mostly, well, the more prominent clients obviously are the celebrities. Obviously. Um, yeah. But but have have there been clients in the Philippines with really interesting stories? I guess that. Yes. That stand out to you. The, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I just heard about this story of a family vacation in Italy. Okay. Uh, three generation. Uh, oh, that was Filipino. They yeah, were Filipino. Okay. They went to Italy and then uh, they, they were shooting in this random fountain and random cafe. Right. And then uh, and the photographer asked them, why, why this place? Okay. Do you know why? It's, the, it's where their great grandparents met. Oh, That's wow. where their great grandparents so used like to the date start during the war times in the in the forties. Yeah, yeah. So it's really interesting, and yeah. they all uh, kind of trace back. Uh, but how that's nice though, because if you're the photographer shooting that, it's like you're part of their, their story, story in a way, right? Yes, and they would show it uh, back home, and you know what? This right. is what they met. This is right, right. Isn't it awesome? Right, right, I mean, right, right. How do you screen your photographers? As in, do you do you interview them? Do you yes. interview them uh, personally? I no. used to every oh, one wow. of them, but not anymore. How many uh, photographers do, do you have in here? More than two thousand. Okay, no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible to it's interview impossible. all of them. Yeah. So first of all, uh, we see visually the portfolio. If okay. It's, anything course. close to what we're looking for mm -hmm. and then uh, we go on uh, uh, live chat uh, video calls oh so you actually interact yes, with the interact, person see yeah. how they communicate and we do give a personality test to see how how friendly they are how open they are to talk to, uh, yeah. to new people yeah yeah um there's another step to the app right like mm. after the pho photographs are mm. taken after the session yes. you edit it yourself that's right, right. That we have a team of editors okay. because we want to make sure that when we deliver to the client uh, within three days of the photo shoot it's uh -huh. all beautiful it's right. all edited so yeah. they don't have to do why is it important for the editing to be centralized you can think? you imagine with 2,000 photographers oh. shooting it with their own gear every camera every lens has their mm -hmm. own profile color yeah and then it wouldn't be consistent if it's right. not consistent it's not a brand right. it's not an experience you can count on right, right. that is why uh, right. that is why it's very very yeah. important to, yeah. to, to edit that stage you started out with a team of how many people in 2016, right? How many people were you? <laughs> Five, people. Five people. Five people. Now you're a team of 50. Huge jump, but yeah. how has the growth been so far? It's been really exciting. Okay. Uh, I've been personally uh, enjoyed the whole mm -hmm. process. It's, right. it's a learning uh, for me uh, to see how the technology grows and how technology can bring people together. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think that's really interesting about it. It's really like I mean, photography obviously is the focus, but it's more really linking photographers to people who want their photographs taken. Yeah, that's right. And linking that's photographers right. to each other in a way. That's right. Photographers right. to each other. That, yeah. that we're building a whole uh, a sense of community yeah, within yeah, our photographers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that all our photographers, if they go anywhere around the world, they uh -huh. know they have a friend. 
another photographer oh, of not, cityscape. Yeah. If they've never been to Stockholm been, yeah, or yeah, Copenhagen, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, you just give them a call and yeah. they will they will welcome you like a friend. Oh, that's interesting. But in the Philippines, how many photographers do you have so in far? In the Philippines, we have more than 50 photographers. Okay. Yeah. 50 plus photographers. Okay. We are in more than 20 cities in the Philippines. Oh, here? Yes, 20 yes, cities? Yes. Oh, that's, yeah. kind of, that's, that's a lot. Yeah. I Considering have that you haven't really, I mean, it's been a soft... I mean, it's, a, it's been a digital launch. Here's a list that. of the series we oh, have. Oh, Baguio, Cagayan de Oro. Oh, okay. Because beaches, like Batangas. Okay, that's interesting. Huh. But what, what are your what are your future plans for the Philippines? Uh, again, I mentioned you, you launched yes. digitally here, and then you're you're offering discounts, right? Yes, for, yes. For the Fili for, for, for people to try. Yeah, yeah. For people to try. Yeah. Uh, first of all, we see the, the, the Philippines as a real market. Okay. Uh, the behavior is, is is something that uh, I can relate with. Right. Uh, we love having a good time and sharing right. it with culturally the world, also. Right? I guess, culturally, yeah. 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 So that's very important. Mm -hmm. uh, so now we're we're uh, uh, f focusing on travel, inbound okay. and outbound. Mm. Are you growing your we, pool we, of photographers locally? Yes, is, is that a yes. focus also? Both locally for the inbound market okay. or domestic travel market. Okay. Yes, we are growing that. We're opening. So, if there are photographers watching, yes, yes, yes. you should try out please, and please. sign up for if if you do good portrait photography. Yeah, right? it That's is really easy to sign up. It's just uh, studioscape.com slash join or okay. download our photographer app. Right, right. Is age an issue? Like, do you? Our photographer do they age have to range, be a certain it's, age? Uh, well, all of them are above 18. Okay, so oh, definitely. Okay, they have to be of legal age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of legal age. Yeah. Uh, they are as old as 55. I okay. Think. That's one of the older ones we have. Uh, I met him actually. He's in Marrakesh. Oh, okay. I was, I was there and then right. I met. They're, as, they're a couple shooting oh, for students. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In the Philippines, have you met the photographers here? Uh, or not are yet. you tomorrow? I'll oh, be you're meeting, meeting them. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, how big? We have fifty photographers yes. here now. How? How? What's your vision? What's your vision? How many photographers would think, you want to have think, in the I think for Philippines, we need to double that number within okay. the next twelve months. Oh, that's okay. Because uh, and we are significantly, significantly uh, reducing our prices to make it more affordable for oh, people. Oh, for in for yes, oh, yes. Oh, that's uh, we, interesting. Because we know once they try, so to speak, and they see the value yeah. of what we deliver. Yeah. Yeah. And to clarify, you're not just looking for photographers based in Manila, right? Because you have no, 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 no. Batangas, this is everywhere. you have, yeah. Yeah, you have Baguio. Even, yes, yes, yes. So if, if there's a photographer out there watching if, in the, in, who's even not in the Manila islands, based, yeah. yeah. Because I think that's maybe people might think that you're just based in, in the major cities like no, Cebu no. or just no, Davao no, no, or, no. or Manila. Yes, we but, are th in but that's LA also good because you give opportunities. To photographers based in smaller that's cities right, or that's smaller right, that's right. and I've been a photographer so I know the challenge yeah. being a photographer and what they are really good at yeah is taking pictures yeah right and I think uh, uh, why most of the photographers love working together with us mm -hmm. is we we complete them in a right. way that we bring the technology uh, give, to them simplify, this avenue, yes, give them this avenue I guess give them the avenue uh, open up the whole channel to the, the world market right. and also help them with the post-production, the editing. Oh, they don't have to bother about yeah. yeah, they don't have to think about that too much, right? Because sometimes the editing takes longer than the photo shoot. That's true. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have photographers who are more or less full-time? No, it, it's, it's mostly... It's mostly freelance. Okay. Uh, yes, yes. But uh, in some markets, we are exploring that. Full-time, full full-time time photographers full time. for the... Okay, that's interesting. Soon to be launched. Oh, wow. Um, are there plans for the Philippines? What, uh, what, what is, can people... It, it's really interesting uh, how Surya Escape grew from travel focus mm -hmm. to actually people are booking us for so many other events. Even corporate events, company outings, uh, company meetings, right? Or even friends getting together, reunions, mm. uh, graduations proposal okay. and so many so many more moments in our lives yeah. that deserve uh, beautiful images right those are just priceless and right. I think uh, uh, as we grow in the Philippines not only in the travel market but so many different channels that uh, that is important to right. life. oh just a question also like for the Philippine your Philippine market your Filipino market mm -hmm. what's the most visited location or what's the country that they love going would you to? care to guess? Um, 
I guessed I guessed this wrongly before, so yeah. I, and I don't really remember what what the city was. I'm guessing somewhere in Asia. Yes. I'm guessing somewhere. In, yeah. Yes. So yeah. currently it's Japan. Japan. Oh. Japan has been on the spotlight the last few years right. for Asian visitors going to Japan. Oh. So uh, the biggest increase obviously is coming from China and right. South Korea, but. Filipinos, Indonesian, mm -hmm. yeah, people from Thailand. Mm -hmm. Japan is, is really a, a hot destination. Oh, okay. It's not too far, yeah. yet the culture is like a world apart. And, and it's Instagram worthy. Yeah, it is, <laughs> there are it is a lot of places, in, yeah, yeah, in yeah. Every season. Oh, that's right. right? They right, have right. Yeah, beautiful seasons. Right, right. And I think the, the good advantage, the, the big advantage there is you have a tour guide. And if you go to areas where maybe not a lot of people speak English, you have because it's a requirement yes. for you, yeah. So all photographers speak English. They must speak, they must English. speak English. So at least if there's a language barrier issue in the place you're visiting, you have a translator. Yes. Automatically, right there with you on well, your not travels. Only, not only as a translator, but you know a lot of our photographers in Japan actually mm -hmm. help the clients to uh, book for the kimono oh, rental. Yeah, I heard. Kimono yeah, yeah, rental. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard about that. Like they actually help you. Yes. Where like they give which you links? Shop? Yeah, yeah, which shop? They take you there. Which shop? So it's like having a tour guide. In almost, a way. almost. Yeah. More like a friend right. brings you around. Right. Yeah. right. Because for a tour guide, you need to be uh, certified and yeah, you yeah, know yeah, all the yeah, history yeah, yeah, of yeah, all yeah. the spots, yeah. right? So oh. more like a friend. But that's interesting. So maybe you want to invite Filipino photographers, Filipino travelers. Yes. To, yes. Yeah. Travel, explore. Yeah. I think uh, the world is such a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. uh, even domestically, yeah. uh, a lot of people are so busy, caught up with their own work. Right. Take right. some time off. Yeah. yeah. I think travel uh, re-energizes you. Yeah. And and, and gives bonding yeah. to relationships, whether it be family or friendship. So, in any chance you have, whether it's a three days short trip or a week or a month, yeah. I think I think travel would be a big, you know, yeah. A big energy in our lives. Right. Yeah. And for the photographers, it's a chance to actually share your craft, I guess. Yeah, share your craft yeah. and not only make new friends, yeah. but also make good money on the side. Right. Yeah. Lots of many opportunities. Yes. Just with the app. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. And you're just starting here. We're so. just starting. So we look forward to what else? To the future of Sweet Escape in the Philippines, I to guess. To the future, yeah. yeah. There's so much to grow. Right. Uh, if you see that the market, the demand, the behavior, and the kind of needs, the, you know, I think we're just baby steps right, right, right. now. Thank you for joining us this thank afternoon. You for it's a very me. rainy afternoon. So thank you for taking the time to come over to Raptor and come to the Philippines. I love your office. Should, yeah, thank very you. Very dynamic. <laughs> and they're, they're very, very kind to to lower down their volume for, <laughs> for our live very, interview. It's a very considerate op. It was, it was noisier yeah. yesterday. So thank you for joining us for Rappler Talk. Um, check out Sweet Escape. If you're a photographer, if you're a traveler, um, they have discounts. So you might want to check that out. This is Vea Kupin, and thank you for joining us. Thank you.